God of heaven and earth, whose son was born for all the world as a child in Bethlehem. We praise you for the shepherds in the fields, who with the animals and angels greeted the word made flesh with wonder and joy. Through the telling of the Christmas story, may we join with the shepherds and angels in singing and praising the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy is the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, everlasting father of prince of peace his authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of david and his kingdom he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore the word of the lord
families and friends to our annual children's Christmas pageant, Zoom style. The setting is a manger in Bethlehem from the comfort and safety of each of our homes. You will see all of the usual cast and characters. Angel Gabriel, Mary Joseph and the donkey, the star, baby Jesus, and baby Jesus understudy. We have three very wise kings, many angels, a few shepherds, some sheep, a flamingo, and a chicken. Several family pets playing other animals at the manger, like cats as cats, dogs as dogs, and a dog as a sheep. And quite a few stage crew members providing backdrops. Thank you for joining us and supporting our very zoomy Christmas pageant. This is our birth plan. Now introducing Quinn, our narrator. The ringing of the Christmas bells starts the telling of the famous story read from Luke 2, 1 to 14. <laughs> days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of, da the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news, great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with, with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, Praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. 
yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. All the world sleep, the angels keep their watch and wandering love. All the morning stars together proclaim the holy birth. And praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently, the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessing of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin. Where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. Where children are pure and happy, play to the blessed child. Where misery cries out to thee, son of the mother mild. Where charity stands watching, and faith holds wide the door. The dark night wakes, the glory breaks, and Christmas comes once more. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Accept our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels. The great glad tidings tell. O oh, come to us, abide with us, O Lord Emmanuel.
If you had asked me to predict what Christmas would be like one year ago, I never could have predicted that we would be having a very Zoomy Christmas pageant. I barely even knew what Zoom was. Isn't that hard to believe not knowing what Zoom is? Now it's completely a part of our lives. But here we are, having just watched a very Zoomy Christmas pageant. The children have beautifully reflected the unpredictable nature of birth and Christmas and of our lives this year. Anyone who's ever given birth can tell you the baby will come when and how it wants, no matter how much planning you do. And Christmas is the same. It comes every year on December 25th, whether we have all our presents sent, ready, and wrapped, and whether we're gathered together in a church or brought together by Facebook and Zoom. Christmas is here. And in the church, Christmas is a time for us to think about things like hope and light and to be excited and joyful, even in the midst of sorrow, confusion, loss, and grief. All of these feelings were present on that night that Jesus was born. Which one of us would have wanted to give birth in a barn, far from home, turned away from places that would have been warmer and safer? Who of us would want to be isolated and separated rather than with family and friends on an important night like this night? And yet into this dark, lonely, isolated night came a first breath and a deep cry, a reminder that life goes on in the midst of everything. And this life brings light, not only to his mom and dad, but to the whole world, a light to enlighten the nations and to banish eternal darkness. This light is the Prince of Peace, a wonderful counselor, everlasting father, mighty God. He is Jesus. Our joy and excitement, our light, our hope. He is born into the messiness of our lives, unexpected yet unbelievably necessary. In him, our hopes are founded. In him, our fears are released. And we are made whole through this bundled new life, just as we see in the eyes of every newborn child. Hope, fear, sadness, joy, completeness, all bundled up in this new life. This Christmas, will be unlike any other, I suspect, just like that first Christmas. Carry the joy, the laughter, the smiles, the gathering of the church together on Zoom to share our beloved Christmas carol the way we can share it together. The hope and the excitement of these children who have retold the story we know in a new way. Hold on to the hope and joy that is given at Christmas and look with wonder once again at the child lying in the manger. Jesus, born of Mary, Jesus Christ, our Savior and salvation, Emmanuel, God with us. The one who banished the darkness, who took away our separation the one who shines light into the world so that we might know peace and love and joy and hope. Amen.
God of darkness and silence, you have pierced the quiet of this night by the utterance of your word in our flesh. May your word of compassion and reconciliation resound in us and through us. God of love, grant, grant our prayers. In this holy night, angels proclaim the peace of your unconquered son of righteousness. Strengthen all who work for peace and justice. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, you came to us in a child cradled in a borrowed bed of straw, as there was no room in the inn. Open our hearts to the needs of the homeless and the hungry. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, shepherds and outcasts heard your good news. Give us grace to spread your gospel of joy and liberation. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, we rejoice at the coming of this time of recreation. Be with those who travel, enrich our rejoicing, and strengthen the bonds between us. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, Christians throughout the world are celebrating Christ's birth. Unite us in one family that we may shine with the one light that scatters all our darkness. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, your living word leap down, shedding light on all who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Give strength and peace to all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. God of love, grant our prayers. In this holy night, Heaven and earth embrace, and in your true child, you give us power to be your children. Fulfill in your love all who have gone before us in the faith. May we, like them, remain faithful to the mystery of the word made flesh and live in your eternal light. God of love, grant our prayers. Hear these prayers we bring to you and fulfill your purposes in us in the name of Jesus, your incarnate word. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we, who have known the mystery of that light on earth, may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us say together the prayer of St. Chrysostom, modified. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time to share together all the prayers we have for our world and ourselves. You have also promised through Jesus Christ, who you love beyond measure, to be with us whenever we gather together with others. Grant our prayers the way you know is best for us, those we say aloud and those we say to ourselves, helping us to know your truth while we are alive and to find eternal life thereafter. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season, scatter the darkness of sin, and brighten your heart with the light of his holiness. Amen. Amen. May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the glad news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. Amen. May God, who in the word made flesh, joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you his peace and favor. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.